Hey there, book lovers! Today's review is all about The Way of Kings, The Stormlight Archive, Book 1. As soon as I finished reading it, I knew I had to share my thoughts with all of you. So, let's get started. The world of Roshar is a strange and tempestuous place. The seasons come and go in unpredictable ways, sometimes bringing with them great high storms that are so powerful that even the plants of this world have evolved ways to hide from them. It is a world filled with spirits, ubiquitous beings, called spren, which pop up for almost any reason. There are the spren of nature, wind spren, fire spren, rot spren, river spren, and the like. There are spren that seem attracted to humans, like alispren, glory spren, anticipation spren, and logic spren. No one really knows what they are or why they exist, but they are everywhere in this world. The greatest kingdom in Roshar is that of Alefkar, which is barely a nation at all. A loosely bound alliance of ten high princes, the people of Alefkar are a hostile, ambitious, violent folk whose first and greatest love is battle and winning. Since the assassination of their king by the savage Parshendi, they have been involved in a seemingly endless siege of revenge on the great shattered plains. The greatest warriors of Alefkar, or any nation, are those who wield the amazing shardblades. Swords that seem to condense out of mist, the shardblades, can cut through anything, though if they cut through a person their effects are a little more subtle. A warrior armed with a shardblade, wearing shardplate armor, can use the incredible power of stormlight to achieve feats that no normal man could survive. Bound within glowing gemstones and restored by the howling winds of the high storms, Stormlight is Rosher's greatest treasure. Within this world, we follow an ensemble cast, which, while adhering to certain fantasy archetypes, still is made interesting and worth watching. Dalinar, the brother to the dead LT King, is searching for a way to hold together the weak nation that his brother formed. He has been learning of the old ways, the teachings of the vanished and reviled Knights Radiant, in the hopes that they can help hold his people together. On the other end of ALT society is Kaladin. Once a promising young surgeon, Kaladin joined the army in hopes of being able to fight on the Shattered Plains. He made it there, but not as a soldier, as a member of a bridge crew, one of the most expendable resources in the entire war. He became the lowest of the low, forced to find a reason to stay alive. In a city far from the fighting, young Shalon Davar has fought to become the ward of the great heretic scholar, Jasna Colin. While she has ostensibly come to learn from the woman, her true purpose is to steal Jasna's soulcaster, a device which, if used properly, can turn something into something else, stone into smoke, glass into blood, a man into fire. With this, Shalon hopes to revive her family's flagging fortunes after the death of her father. What she discovers with Jasna, of course, is far, far more. Then there's Seth's son Sambalano, truthless of Shinovar. Poor, poor Seth. From a race of people known for their peaceful and easygoing natures, Seth is the most powerful assassin the world has seen. He can harness the stormlight to manipulate gravity, making him able to do the impossible while he uses his shard blade to cut down anyone in his way. In truth, though, Seth wishes only one thing, to find someone who is good enough to kill him, and end his tormented life. The book focuses on four main characters, or maybe it would be more accurate to say three and a half. Kaladin, Dalinar, and Shalon account for the majority of the book, and though he appears far less frequently, Seth's son Sambalano, truthless of Shinovar, yes, that's his name, accounts for what remains. There are a smattering of side characters, some utterly forgettable and others utterly unforgettable, Axis the Collector, for instance, who travels the world studying Spren, and they form the interludes between parts. In the end, you'll care about some more than others. Fortunately, Sanderson did this on purpose. The result is that when one chapter ends, you're angry because you don't want to leave their storyline. And then you finish the next chapter and feel the same way. And so on and so forth. It's similar to what Martin did with his Song of Ice and Fire series, except without the Sansa chapters. 
magic is used in a way unlike anything I've really seen before. Rather than dying out in the world of Roshar, it's coming back, and no one really knows what it is or how to handle it. The result is exhilarating, magic feels mysterious, dangerous, and intriguing. Exactly the way magic should feel, in my opinion, unless it's in Harry Potter. For example, in TWOK, gems hold stormlight in them, which is used to power magical armor, called shardplate, or to light a street. Different colored gems means multicolored lanterns. As a result, streets at night turn into little disco parlors. This is just one of the many ways Sanderson uses magic in this world. Brandon Sanderson tosses you into the way of kings alone and leaves you set adrift in a high storm. But as the pages go by, you start to realize that he didn't abandon you. Lifelines are scattered about the pages, and by the time you read the end of the novel, you will wonder how you ever lived without reading this book. In the end, I can't recommend this book enough. It's got great, albeit one-dimensional, characters, an utterly original storyline with just enough of the familiar fantasy trope to make us feel at home in our own genre. Before we end this review, I want to let you know about an amazing deal that you can take advantage of right now. If you haven't tried Audible yet, you can get a free audiobook with a 30-day trial by clicking the link in the description below. Audible has a vast selection of books that you can listen to on the go, and it's a great way to discover new titles and authors. Plus, if you end up using the trial, it's a fantastic way to support this channel as well. So, be sure to check out the link in the description and start your free trial today.